The first exercise you are asked to conduct in this course is to populate the design framework, which is intended to get you thinking about your research design and gathering all relevant data together before setting up your Invivo project. First, think about what kinds of data you have or plan to collect. These may include interviews, literature, social media, web pages, field notes, observations, or other types of data. Then there are the units of analysis and observation. These often become cases in Envivo. In this example, we have two, people, who will have one set of descriptive information and literature, which will have a different set. Next, there are variables or attributes as they are known in Envivo. People attributes may be gender and other demographics, while literature may require information such as year, author or discipline to be stored in Envivo. Attributes are organized together as classifications. The next column asks, is this a longitudinal study or a snapshot? Longitudinal studies will require a different setup in Envivo. Finally, what are some thoughts on the initial themes you plan to code in your data? These become codes in Envivo. Completing the design framework is a very good place to start as it helps you to think about how you set up an Envivo project for your research. Cheer Chain Enterprise distributes and sells software with the aim of offering clients guidance. When choosing software, as well as technical support, 